chapter 19 is the chapter of Mary and there is a first right in the beginning a word it's called Kahayas who is a Muslim when I tell us what Kahayas mean and as you see the Muslim they don't translate do you know why because they cannot understand what is that what is the secret with this Kahayas let us explain easy what Kahayas mean please look with me here this is the Arabic alphabet you will notice that every letter is equal to a number. This is a method created by the Aramaic people. What simply this is does, you can write a sentence by coding. The Aramaic, they were very, very, very smart people. In case you do not know, many of you right now speak Aramaic, but you do not know it. Even they say to you that the numbers you use today are the Arabic numbers. The fact those are not Arabic numbers, those are Aramaic numbers, which is equal to letters in the same time. So the Aramaic language is letters and numbers in the same time. So to make it simple for you in the old days, you can use a letter to say one. And I'm talking about the Aramaic language. So this is A, this is letter A in English. Letter A is equal to one. All right? So the Aramaic, they created a special way of coding and it goes as the following. A is equal to one. Second letter is B, equal to two. Third letter J equal to three da equal to four ha equal to five wa equal to six za equal to seven ha equal to eight to equal to nine ye equal to ten and here you will notice now that the letter right away after the letter number ten or the tenth number is going to have a double value so look here, the letter number 10 is equal to 10. But then the letter number 11 is going to be equal to 20. So ka is equal to 20, which means every number will come after is going to be what? Is going to increase 10, which means the last number, which is 10 here, will be added to every letter come after that, the value of it. So the letter number 11 will be 20. The letter number 12 will be 30. The letter number, uh, uh, etc. Until we go to the end. Did we get it? And then when we arrive to the letter number twenty, we will notice we arrive to the number equal to one hundred. Then the number after it will be will happen the same as what happened to the first ten letters, which mean we will add the same value for any to the number for the letter after it. So the last letter here, qa. Let us highlight it with the with the this is the last letter is equal to 100 so now the letter after it every letter we are going to add 100 to the value of the letter the same as we did to the 10 letter when we arrive here the the value was 10 and then we add it 10 to every number after that If this is complicated, you can play the video again. So now, after the number Qaf, which is equal to 100, the number that after that will be Ra, and that will be equal to 200. And Sha will be equal to 300. Ta will be equal to 400. Tha will be equal to 500, etc. until we arrive to the end, and then we will reach the end of the alphabet. So, when we go and study the numbers, we will find <clears throat> the following. Kahayas, we go back to Hakayas. Kahayas contain the following letters. Ka, you see, when they write it by itself in Arabic, we write it as a letter, as a, as a word. The letter, it's a letter, but it's written as a word. Ka, we say kaf. Ha, it is ha, like itch, you know. Ha, ya, ain, which is a, letter a, this is letter here, this one here, is a. And then sa, 
in Arabic when it is about itself we say sod as if it's a word now if we calculate the numbers which is equal to the value of those letters based in the alphabet we showed you we will come to a conclusion let us see what will come to us we will try to find what is the number of every every letter of those letters so what will happen is the following if we go as an example in the uh, 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 in the alphabet here the first letter here is ka kahayas the first letter is ka so what is equal to it 20 all right so this is what we would do exactly for every word of the words. Then the letter after that is ha is equal to five. And now what letter I'm talking about? The letters we have in the Quran. Kahayas. All right. So we start calculating those letters and then we will come to the total number of the letters. The total will be as the following. 20 plus 5 plus 10 plus 70 plus 90. The equal will be 195. Let us put it in the screen. Now, by doing that, we got nothing really. I mean, 195, what is that? But for those who speak the language very well and they knew like you know it's like you know it's like using morse code if you're used to it it's not it's easy to to break it down then we will find the following that the name of the messiah al masih in arabic is equal to the following one plus 30 plus 40 plus 60 plus 10 plus 8 that will be equal to 149 Then the word, <coughs> which is the following. 1 plus 30 plus 5 plus 10 is equal to 46. And by the way, you have this in my book already, if you have my book. I'm trying to make it clear. And the text here, we want to make the screen bigger. Um, okay, I think now it's fine. All right. So what what we what we will find out that the 195 is a break of two words. The first one is Al Masih, which means the Messiah. The second word is Ilahi, which means my God. So what Kahayas mean, Messiah is my God. And you will notice that this is located in the first verse in the chapter of Mary, the mother of Jesus. You cannot say that this has happened as a coincidence or an accident or by mistake. Somebody, he put it there in purpose. Now, there is some, they say, that the one who did add that he is a person trying to repent for making the quran but it was too late and he did not dare to say that muhammad is a false prophet so he gave muhammad a word to add it in his book and whoever a person who have a knowledge he will find out right away that the quran is witnessing that jesus is god from the first verse in the chapter of Mary, chapter 19. In the old days, the scholars, they used to send letters, but nobody can understand. And if we put them together, they mean nothing. But if you are a person who knows the secret of the alphabet, then you will find out by putting the numbers 
next to each letter and then you will come with a new sentence so look what will happen if we take Kahayas Kahayas will be simply equal to the following letters Kahayas as letters which may contain Ka Ha Ya Ayn Sa or Sad if we calculate the numbers of those we will come with the number 195 195 is equal to the following sentence Christ is my God And you are telling me I cannot find you that Jesus is God in the Quran? Muhammad the thief, he copied this sentence and those words from Waraq Abdul Nawfal, who is a Nasara. It is written in his book and he have no idea what is that. He took it, he put it there. And notice that this is the chapter of Maryam, the mother of Jesus. It's not a coincidence. It's not an accident. It is meant to be in the first verse of the chapter speaking about Mary. This is something is taken from the Aramaic. Muhammad, he have no idea what is that. He is a copy thief and he got himself busted. And we see this right in the front of our eyes in the first chapter in the in the first verse in the chapter of Mary the mother of Jesus and the Muslims until now they try to give you their own gossip guessing trying to fight this what is this what is that but they cannot because Muhammad is a thief he stole it from the book of Waraq Abdul Nawfal if you remember in the hadith Waraq Abdul Nawfal it says the story about Waraq that he was translating from the gospel which either written in Aramaic or in Hebrew into Arabic but Muhammad do not know what this is mean so he found that in the book and this is why Muhammad never explained to Muslim what does that mean and no Muslim knows they are guessing and this is why when they translate they cannot uh, they cannot give you a meaning of the of, of the because they are just letters mean nothing Kahayas, and they are written in the Quran as one word, not as letters, as you see in front of us. My friend, God, don't leave himself without witnesses, even in the book of the devil. This is why we say here we are a free school for those who they are like to learn how to defeat the cult of Islam. Islam is a very easy cult to defeat, but if you don't have knowledge, you cannot defeat it.